All right, sixth grade, we have a fast forward Friday. Today is going to be a short video. Uh, welcome back and welcome to 2021. You know, I talked to a bunch of you students and I'm going to start 2021 for teachers. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Go ahead and click subscribe and like the video. It helps us out, teachers. Uh, but students, we um, want to you know, we want to make sure we're focused coming into this year. All right. And, and that can be in a lot of different areas. So I'm going to start sharing this PowerPoint. It's going to be super quick, I promise. And then we're going to get into a project that you're going to be doing during class today uh, in homeroom, which will hopefully bring some positive energy into sixth grade, uh, which y'all have been doing great since we came back. We want to stay on that track. So we want to welcome y'all back. Welcome teachers, students, everyone. Welcome back into school. Uh, so our focus for 2021 is going to remain the same, uh, but, you know, this is an opportunity to reassess where you're at and where you can adjust and make changes for the 2021 year to be a very successful year. All right, because this time next year, hopefully all of us will be in the next grade up. Eighth grade will be in high school. You sixth graders will be in seventh grade. There's going to be a whole group of new sixth graders coming in. So y'all, when you come back next year to school, we're gonna be confident, you're gonna know where to go, you're gonna be ready to go. So right now for 2021 in January, the be here, be ready, be respectful. I've talked about it, your teachers have talked about it. It's something you're gonna to have to understand is important for your whole life until the day you retire. When you retire, you don't have to be here anymore. You can be wherever you want. But until then, be here, be ready, be respectful is at the top of our list to make sure you're successful as students, as members of society, as brothers, as sisters, as friends, be here, be ready, be respectful as a student. It, it really is students, it's a key to success. It is, those are three areas that are key to success. So also teachers, you don't have to do this with your class because I know time might limit it and I'm about to go into the project right after this. But I think it'd be kind of fun if a few students or teachers even wanted to share their New Year's resolution. Uh, New Year's resolution students, it's something you want to commit to this year that you either didn't do last year or haven't done uh, or something new that you want to try. So my New Year's resolution is to spend more time with one of my sisters because I, I spend a lot of time with my mom and my other sister but my one sister kind of gets left out and she kind of she kind of you know can get a little jealous or kind of feels a little sad about it so my goal this year uh, for my family is definitely to spend more time with my oldest sister who you know is someone that I love very much and I want to make sure she knows that I love her and I got to make sure she knows that by showing her I love her so I'm gonna be spending more time with her uh, all right, so the project for today, we're going to take a sheet of paper, we're going to write our name on it, all right, we're going to make it as fancy and decorative as you can, you know, write it in cursive, write in like thick letters, and you can color it in, but you're going to write your name across the paper, all right, and then you're going to write one word or one short little phrase that kind of describes you, all right, and it's a positive a positive phrase or word, okay? So, you know, you could put helpful or caring or likes to read, anything that's about you that's positive, okay? We're keeping this very positive, we have to. That's why we're here. So after you write your name and write your positive word, your teachers are gonna, you know, direct this. But once it's, safe and once we teachers you know how your room is laid out and we think of a way to make it safe we are going to allow students to go to other students papers all right and write a positive word or phrase about that student okay so positive words only and this is going to help you kind of get to know the other students and build some relationships and i believe these papers are going to go out in the wall and on the some bulletin boards Okay, now teachers, I know some of you, there were some other ideas discussed at the grade level. Um, you know, I think you understand we want just to be a positive project. So with, with his names, or I think we talked about maybe cutting out hearts. Um, teachers, as long as it's positive, we're doing good. Okay, so this is the project we're gonna work on during homeroom. 
put your name, teachers, you see how it goes. And then make sure, you know, we're using hand sanitizer and we're keeping our masks up when we go around the room. Students, it's so important that you keep your masks up. We can't express it enough. We tell y'all, it's just so important that you keep your mask up and you always wash your hands and keep them sanitized, okay? Listen to your teachers. They will direct you through this, but this is a fun project for you to stay positive, be with your classmates and, um, you know, create a positive environment, which is what we want at Griffin, all right? That's what we want here. So students, thank you all very much. We're excited to have you all back. Teachers and I were talking before you came and we think it's, you know, we think it's great that y'all are back in the building and that we're on our way to the end of 2020 school year, 2021 school year. So we will be having more lessons. Tuesday will be second or uh, social emotional. Friday will be fast forward Fridays. Uh, so we're gonna start this year with on a positive note and getting y'all to understand, you know, that we're all here for each other. So y'all have a great Friday and a great weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday.